10 content marketing ideas to grow your business. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. I got you covered. Let's go through them so you can start making them happen one by one and seeing your sales skyrocket. Hey, this is Mikey over at the Hair Business Blueprint. Make sure that you subscribe to the Hair Business channel. I also have a bunch of links below to other hair business resources that I know is gonna help grow your hair business. Content marketing can be one of the most fantastic ways to grow your hair business. Now, there are honestly some pros and cons to content marketing. So let's talk about it. One of the pros is once you have that piece of content, I like to call it a digital asset for your business. Content can take time to create, so that can definitely be a con. Also, if you're looking for search engine optimization, SEO, some of this content takes a while to actually show up in ranking Google. But there's also a lot that you can do with the content that you create. Think about the times that you're creating that email newsletter and you just need something to put it inside that's just not buy, 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 right? That's where this type of content is gonna come in. The same goes for posting on social media where it could be information about products and other information about the brand. That's gonna help warm up your audience and feel more comfortable in purchasing from your hair brand. So let's go over some of the best ideas that you can start doing today to help grow your hair business. Idea number one is do a feature on an influencer. Now, you may have to send that influencer hair. You can do something even as simple as lashes. I generally say start with a product that you have that's a little bit more low cost and say, hey, I wanna send you this product and possibly get some feedback from you. Most influencers would be happy to do that. Once they wear it, looks good, they're happy and excited, say, you know what? I would love to feature you on my website where you're actually gonna do an interview with the influencer. You spend a little time. You don't even have to do it over the phone or through a Zoom call. You can do a lot of it through email so you can pretty quickly copy and paste the questions and answers on your website. Get some photos from the influencer. Maybe they can even make a video. You can say, I wanna make this the best article for you and about you. You know, can you make a little video or maybe a YouTube video so I can put it on my post? You see where I'm going here. Now they're creating a YouTube video for you. You build this beautiful post about this influencer, how they wear the product, but also some information about them. What's the influencer gonna do as soon as this article is done? I guarantee you they're gonna be sharing it with their friends and followers because who doesn't like to be featured on a website? This is a really smart and indirect way to create some powerful content that's gonna be shared on your website. The next idea is a little show and tell about the hair industry. Now, this could be easily created with a detailed FAQ page. People love FAQ pages, and it's something that you can easily share with common questions that you get from your customers. So you start with things that you know about, you, you pretend like it's just a question that people are asking, maybe no one's asked it yet because you're a new business, that's okay. Start building out this Q&A section. As you start getting emails from customers, you can start answering their questions on the website. Right, so if they say, hey, how many bundles do I need for a sew-in? You can say, great question. I actually have it answered in detail here. You put a link in the email back to the website. It might not even be on there yet, so hurry up and write it and send that link. So what does this do? First things first, it's gonna answer their question, so your customer's gonna be happy. It's also gonna be a way to get the customer from not just being in the inbox, but to your website. Think about that strategy. Having those FAQs can be a great way to get more people to your website, answer questions because people don't like to purchase from you if they have questions about their purchase. 
just be as detailed as possible use proper grammar i use a program called grammarly that saves my day because i'm not the best writer in the world when it comes to grammar and it's going to help grow your business the next content idea is who is on your team is it just you if it is that's okay think about who your team members are so if you have an assistant or a couple other people that are part of your team this is generally done in the form of an about us page make sure that you are really detailed in that page allow the reader to connect with each person that's part of your team hey how you doing or if you're just a solo entrepreneur a solopreneur that's okay too make sure that it's a really nice professional photo these selfie photos that i see on the about us sections do not do it a professional photo is real easy to do get an iphone portrait mode snap snap you're good to go and if you really want to take it to the next level have a video made that has part of your team talking a little bit about your story this is a great thing for your website google's going to love it for search engines optimization it's something that you can share within your emails on social media and really allow the customers to connect with you the brand and it's a great way to create more content another great content idea is a sneak peek now this could be something that you have only to the people that are on your email list or a text list but start creating some content that's showing upcoming products and services. So here at Private Label today, we just launched some really beautiful blonde closure wigs. So a lot of people are used to like the lace front closure bob wigs. This is a blonde closure version. So what we do is we start letting some people know some of this, that we have this product coming and now we have everyone fired up to get this product that we released today. So think about giving people a little sneak peek. This could be posting on social media. It could be through a blog post. It could just be through an email list. You know, make people feel special if they're following you or on a list that you're giving them that inside info that other people just can't get anywhere. And that is a great sneak peek way to get more customers with content. Hands down, one of the best content strategies for your hair business is making product tutorials. Now, at Private Label, we have a ton of different entrepreneurs that we work with. Some are hairstylists, and some people just like being in the hair business. So if you're a hairstylist, you definitely have an advantage to make these tutorials, because you can probably talk to your client, maybe throw them a little bonus of something, and you can film you doing their hair. Now, if you don't know how to do hair, like myself, then what I would do is partner up with a hairstylist and say, hey, I will give you your client a discount on some hair or something, figure a deal out and record doing the hair step-by-step -step tutorials of what you're doing. Video is gonna be absolute the winning platform moving forward. So get used to shooting video. If you don't wanna be on video yourself, make sure that you have people to do so. Creating these types of tutorials and detailed information can go a long way because you're also letting the consumer know how to use your product. And if they know how to use your product, they're probably gonna be contacting the customer service department le uh, less and they're gonna be much happier. So it's a huge win-win with creating product tutorials for your business, which is great content. Content idea number six is announce a sale. Now, I love sales and there's different sales that you can do and you can spend a lot of time hyping these types of sales up and you can do that all through creating content. Now, if you're going to have a sale on a Friday, you might want to start giving a little teaser a week or two before letting them know a date and time for the sale and how long the sale is. I really like flash sales where it's a limited amount of product for a limited amount of time. This creates a sense of urgency. So you pick a date and time and you say from Friday at noon to Friday at one, these products are gonna be this price. Do not miss it. Set your alarm, put it in your calendar. People really do it. They do it all the time. We have a monthly sale at Private Label called The Drop on Private Label Clearance. I'll put a link if you wanna check it out. You can probably get some tips for your business by signing up for our text list. You can see what we do. This generates 
huge amounts of sales and it's something you can do too. So be strategic with your sale. If it's a flash sale, it's a holiday sale, but it is a great way to create content around your brand and get people excited because they can get great products from you at a discount. Lucky number seven could be a winner with a contest. So think about doing a contest for your business. Now you can do a contest that's run from your website, which I love because you wanna get people to your website because there's so many more opportunities to get their phone number so you can send them text messages, emails so you can do email marketing, Facebook pixels so you can track them and send retargeted ads. But you can also do a contest on Instagram, Facebook, and other social media platforms. There are Easy ways to do it with maybe just an Instagram post, hey, share this, tag some people, that's an easy way to do it. Or there are also programs out there that can help you do this. They're generally really good at helping capture email addresses or phone numbers to be part of this contest. Make sure if you're doing a contest that you have really clear information on when it starts, when it ends, you know what the product is that you're giving away, and you're gonna announce when the winner actually is. So if the contest ends at Friday at noon, it might be on Monday you announce the winner. Make sure everything's really clear. And once you do announce the winner, make sure that's part of your content strategy, letting people know. Hopefully they can even send a photo that they received it, say they want a wig. If they're not wearing the wig, maybe just holding a wig. So that way you can show your followers and other people that, hey, somebody actually really did win this and they're gonna be more excited about doing the next contest that you have part of your content strategy. The next content idea is sharing your journey in the business. Now, this can be done as a vlog. It can be done as a blog. You know, vlog is for video, blog is your writing, you know, through media and content and photos. That's up to you. I know here at Private Label, part of this channel actually, you'll see I have a certain uh, section of our videos that's actually me a vlog, the day in a life of what I do at Private Label and all our other brands. Uh, so that's a part, it's part of our, my content strategy for not only the Hair Business Blueprint, but for the brand Private Label and all the sister companies. It gives people an inside look that you're really working hard, that this is something you take really serious and it allows them to connect with you in a different way than just, hey, buy my product. So think about the easiest way for you to document this journey because you don't want it to be too much time that takes you away from the important stuff, which is marketing and growing your business. But it can be a great way to have content based around your back end of what you're doing in your business. We touched on this a little bit throughout this video, but really, it's so important, it has its own section. And once again, it is video. Video is so important. You need to be creating videos for your brand every which way possible, especially on YouTube, Instagram stories, TikTok. I can tell you that Instagram used to be a photo sharing tool. It has now turned into a video sharing tool. You will notice over time, through the Instagram feeds and Facebook feeds that video is, it's weighed much heavier in the algorithm as far as what you're going to see. So if you want your posts and content to show up more in front of eyes, you're gonna have to start creating video. So think about every which way you can create video for your brand. I know I talked about a few of them in this video. You can even think about creating a video you just talking about, hey, I have this contest, this, that, the other instead of just having a slide with one photo. Or maybe you can do both. So you have the slide of like, hey, share this slide, you know, blah, with a couple people in a story, tag a few people, but then you also have a video explaining it. You'll notice in Instagram how if a post has multiple photos and videos, you will generally see it multiple times in your news feed. This is a huge tip here, guys. Instead of just posting one photo, post multiple angles or add in a video and I promise you, you're gonna get seen much more and it's gonna be amazing content for your hair brand. Last but not least, another great way to create content for your hair brand is events. Now this could be, you could uh, host your own event, it could be a pop-up shop, or maybe you're going to an event. 
Bronner Brothers is a great event. I know the time of recording this. Next month, Bronner Brothers is going to be in New Orleans. Private Label is going to be there. You'll see we'll have video of this later on this channel and on my vlog. It's a great way to get great content and get your name out there, get in front of real people. We got so stuck in the digital world that it's harder for people to really connect with you. It gives you an opportunity to get face to face with your customers and create content around that. It gives you an opportunity to create so much content that you can share in newsletters, YouTube channels with videos, Instagram with photos and videos. You can put it everywhere, create a nice blog post, let people know that you were there. You never know, somebody might actually find this post and say, hey, I was at that event too. And they connect with you. It's amazing to be part of events. So think about adding events, not just going, but creating the content behind the event for your marketing strategy. Okay guys, I just wheeled off a bunch of tips and ideas for you for content and your hair brand. Now, if you have any questions about anything I talked about, make sure you leave it in the comments below. Check out some of the links that I have down there that are to other powerful resources for your hair brand. If you give me a thumbs up, I promise you good karma today for your hair business. And of course, make sure you're subscribing to the Hair Business Blueprint.